<laughs> kind of. Say 80s and all sorts of stuff on there. Hiya! Oh, yeah. Full. Yes, I did catch it. Again, welcome back to the Thin Brown Line Airsoft YouTube pa page on my channel. Anyway, I'm Mark um, or Sherman, and I'm back once again, like a renegade master. No, I'm back once again with one of Alan's massive supply drops for me to play with. This one is a little less known to people, and um, well, they're that rare, they're about as rare as your unicorn poop. Um, I've personally never really, in fact, this is the first one I've seen in the wild. Um, anyway, without further ado, this is the G and G GK5C. Nifty. Looks different, doesn't it? Well, this is when you can get it to on lock. Right, this is full auto. Carbine length rifle. Um, it is pretty much all metal and it's heavy. Um, you've got metal barrel, metal receiver, metal, metal receiver, uh, metal rails, polymer stock and handguard, and pistol grip, obviously. Um, it's Different is what I'm gonna say. It is different. Um, it's based off of. Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was Swedish Army. I think. He says. Anyway, takes a V2 gearbox and comes standard with a high torque motor. Um, the. Oh! The buttstock is actually quite funky. See that? You don't move. There's no button to press to make it move. There it is. If you look down here, you can just see it on the screen. There's a little button. You push that, you can adjust it to where you want, and then you push that bit back up till it clicks, and it locks. It also has, I don't remember which way it goes, it's a side folder, which does lock in place. So, very good for storage. Some people say, very good for CQB. No, it's for storage. Comes with it. Comes with a stock for a reason. Not for CQB. It's for storage. All right. Anyway. Um, but th I do like that about this here stock. It's quite funky. <gasps> oh, I found a polymer bit. That sling loop. It's polymer. I wouldn't trust it. It's a plastic sling loop, and this gun comes in weighing 4.8 kilo, about nine pounds. Don't trust the plastic sling loop on the back of this, which is why, as you can see, Alan has put one through the sling loop on, uh, on the uh, end of the stock. This is Full auto, semi auto, and safe compatible, which compatible, capable, which is um, ambidextrous. You've got the selectors on both sides, and they are actually slightly different. So on the left hand side, so for a right shooter, yeah, it means you can muck about with it with your thumb, which is quite cool. Or if you're a left handed shooter, You've got more of a standard M4 style one with the three positions. So, yeah. So, top is safe. Next one down is semi. And all the way down to the bottom is the fun switch. It's the same on the other side, just with a slightly elongated um, oh, selector. Now, as for trades on this, there are. Absolutely, let the zero. 
matched are no trades whatsoever. It's a blank canvas. The only markings on it are your um, fire mode. That's it. No other markings. That's it. None whatsoever. Right, anyway, this thing does come standard with, in fact, if I'm going to take off his haptic that he uses, I can show you this and naked how it's supposed to be. You do get a rear adjustable sight, which I can't do with my fingers, but it's got a rear adjustable sight there. Whee! Oh, uh, there, there. <laughs> You've got a front adjustable post sight there with the little wings on it. Um, you've got swing loops on both sides of the barrel. You can just see those. One there and one there. Nope, further there. There, swing loops. Um, you've got quite a cool looking uh, flash, hyzer, flash hider stroke muzzle brake on that one as well. And you do have how do you take these off? Ah, you do have quite a bit of rail space, although you can't see it. Right, so first of all, you've got the nice long rail across at the top of the GNU there. Then you've got a little bit of rail space just there, just that little No, you've got a lot more than that. You've got, and I can never remember how to take these off. There we go. You've got these little, it comes with these as well. You've got these little rail covers. But you've got full length lower cover, uh, lower rail there. You have whoop, section of rail that side and a section of rail that side, which is rather quite cool. Means you get a lot of rail space. Right, moving back again. You've got your standard style uh, mag release. This is where things get funky. Do this, you got your bolt there. Now, you can be forgiven for thinking that's as far as it goes back. Nope. Oops. It locks back on its own. And as you can probably see, there's your hop adjust, just in there. Um, and the bit I like, it's got a functional bolt release. So you can put it all the way back. Hey, yep. Bot release is there. Press that. <laughs> yes, functional bot release. Now, this does have a downside to it, however. Um, it hasn't seen that bit. That's quite funky. Yes, this does have a downside. Battery space. Battery space is at a premium on this thing. To access your battery compartment on the as you look at it on the right hand side of the rifle you've got ugh, keep spinning it around yeah, yeah. this charcoal black section you push the front of it in and that comes away and you can probably just see the wiring in here problem being you've also got a lot of metal work and an outer barrel so the type of batteries that you can fit in this are the slim fit ones, you know, the really thin jobbies. You can get all manner of uh, M8, M8 milliamp hour and voltage batteries in it, but you are a little bit um, restricted with what size you go for. So yeah, you're pretty much gonna be running a slim fit LiPo battery in it. You ain't got any chance of fitting nickel metal hydro in it because they're all massive. But yes, Unless you fancy sticking an M4 stock on the back of it and rewiring it. I don't think so. Anyway, <laughs> but that is the battery compartment in there. <laughs> but it does make, it does make, I did this in one go the other day. There we go. It does make changing batteries incredibly quick. Right. Battery out, new battery in, swap back on, in, done. And the other side does open as well, but you have to actually remove that. That's sort of a rubberized thing. You can remove that and you can actually put 
um, like a pressure pad for a torch in it, which is quite funky. Um, other than that, there's not a great deal more I can say about this. Um, well, what it looks like. So tested on 0 0.2 gram BBs. Uh, this fires at approximately, we ain't tested it. Ooh, we've not tested it. That might be why. Oh yes. Right. There's a reason we've not tested it. He's just upgraded it. But, um, blah, 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 blah. the site that I'm quickly looking at because I cannot remember. Um, oh yes, sorry. It takes Stanag mags as well, but the mags that come with it uh, have fun getting them to fit into a normal Stanag mag pouch because that waffling makes them about six mil larger all the way around compared to a normal stag mag but it does take normal stag mags as well so that's not a problem you can bang any stag mag you want in it and not worry about it it's just the ones that come with it are a little bit larger in size around i nearly forgot about that um um, I said that it was a V2 box. Of course, it's also got a enlarged trigger um, cage. So if you're wearing big, thick gloves in a cold climate, because that's what these are designed for, you've got loads of room. I mean, you can stick like a whole hand in there almost. You've got speed stuff there. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Um, blah, 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 blah. Skill level, regular player. At the moment, that's nobody. <laughs> but anyway, and I think my camera's moved. Probably. Um, ah, there we go. Out of the box, when this was, well, well, when these were tested from certain websites, they average at 311 FPS. But this one, again, has been tinkered with. This one, here we go now has 16 one x gears an shs high torque motor which is the 30k it's got a gate asx mosfet in it it's got lonex hot chamber it's got a 6.03 lonex inner barrel an autobot metal leaf 60 degree um, with matching knob in it as well and now averages 345 fps it's no longer stock, but it does shoot really nice. And when I say it's a fairly heavy rifle, but once you've got it shouldered, and obviously I'm a lefty anyway, once you've got it shouldered, it's actually fairly nice. I mean, you can access everything really easily. That's the bottom. But yeah, it's quite nice actually. And it's different. I mean, yes, okay, it still takes M4 mags, but it's not your same normal, generic, everybody and his mum's got one M4 platform, AR platform. Um, it's not an AK, because the two most popular platforms are AR platform, M4 platform. It's technically an AR platform, but it looks nothing like one. It looks more pretty. Um, and I quite like it. There's a few bits I would change, like um, it needs a lot bigger battery compartment for my liking, but other than that, without doing some extended um, firing tests and range tests and accuracy tests on it, I can't really comment on those kind of things, but yeah, I quite like it. And if you do too, and like what you see, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notifi notified, but you get notified when I'm gonna F up on the screen, when I upgrade, upload something. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.